Get ready, America, for this is the best of Destination Small Town, a Quack TV production featuring the shows that have taken Sweet Swine County by storm. The reality hit, The Real Housewives of Sweet Swine County, Sweet Swine's favorite music show, Backstage at the Commune, the tastefully done cooking segment, Cooking It Up with Betty, the always zany soap opera, As the Corn Grows, and of course, the wildly popular talk shows that share what's happening inside and outside Sweet Swine County. Which shows will you be seeing today? Stay tuned and find out right after the break. The lifestyles led in the small towns and counties of the Midwest are like no other, but we seldom hear about the points of interest and businesses located in these towns. Well, there's one TV station that's made it their mission to make sure the stories of the small towns of the Midwest are told, Cluck TV. That's right, Cluck TV, located in the neighboring county of Sweet Swine. See all the towns that are covered on KLUKTV.com. This program is made possible in part by Swine Tales Publication, the proud publisher of Sweet Swine County Maps and Plat Books. Now publishing authors from throughout Sweet Swine County. Swine Tale Publications is now making plans for their next book tour, and they may be held in these small towns with the release of Earl Steps Out, My Story by Earl Silo. Born and raised in Sweet Swine County, he never saw any reason to leave. After all, what could be better than good old Split Hoof? Oh, sure, he's considered going to New Pork for the annual running of the Pigs Festival. He said he does enjoy a good pig race now and again. But when it came right down to it, he just couldn't make himself get all gussied up and drive 10 miles just to see some other farmer's pigs race. Then he met Cassidy Davis, and she convinced him that he needed to get out of Sweet Swine and, and step out. She held his hand, so to speak, which got him out of Sweet Swine, but into hot water with his best girl, Clarice. But that's a whole nother story. Each of these towns are being considered for a book signing because of the information found on the best source about small towns of the Midwest. To learn about these towns, visit DestinationSmallTown.com. What's Cooking? A KLUK TV production starring Abby Appetite, Lenny, and Lola Leftover. Their destination? outside Sweet Swine County. Their purpose, to share their discoveries of the best cafes, restaurants, bakeries, supper clubs, and night spots. It all began when they realized food options in Sweet Swine County were limited. Now you can learn what they learned with hundreds of food options. What's cooking in living color on the web? The lifestyles led in the small towns and counties of the Midwest are like no other, but we seldom hear about the points of interest and businesses located in these towns. Well, there's one TV station that's made it their mission to make sure the stories of the small towns of the Midwest are told, Cluck TV. That's right, Cluck TV, located in the neighboring county of Sweet Swine. See all the towns that are covered on KLUKTV.com. This program has been made possible by the Swine Song Commune, where musicians, artists, and hippie types live together and share their passions. To learn more, visit the online magazine at sweetswinescoop.com. exciting episode of As the Corn Grows! Today, we join the citizens of Split Hoof as Ronnie P. Silage and Earl Silo square off in a mayoral town hall debate. Could I get a cup of coffee over here? For heaven's sakes, Betty! 
Keep your shirt on, I only had two I'll pounds. my burger, it's you been about have. 20 minutes. Yeah, and what about my food? And my pie. I just need my check. Hey, what's the deal? Norma, the orders are getting cold. Enough! That's better. Gretchen's out sick, Danny's unloading a truck full of lettuce. You guys are gonna have to wait. And besides, Elmer said that it's time to start the hall meeting. Well, what about my refill? I'm warning you, Betty. Folks, folks, please, please settle down. Settle down, please, please settle down. Thank you. Oh, crap, you know, I can't believe that the only two people running for mayor are split of Earl Silo and Ronnie P. Silage. Well, now, Johnny, you know, you should be happy. Earl is one of your oldest and dearest friends. And you know, it doesn't hurt to have friends in high places. I agree, and Earl is a really good friend of mine, but the thought of him handling the purse strings of all the projects and that going on around Split Up, i got to say it's got me more than just a little bit concerned. So, you're the one running Ronnie's campaign? Yes, I am running Ronnie's campaign, though he doesn't need any help. Ronnie is a shoe. Oh, please. Don't be getting too set on the idea that he's going to be the mayor of Splithoff. I have no doubt that Ronnie will be the next mayor of Splithoff. I shall be his administrative assistant. Oh, honey. You have been sniffing nail polish for way too long. It's very obvious that Earl is the people's choice. People's choice? Yes. <laughs> Don't you be picking out that china too soon, honey. You are going to be begging me for a ticket to the mayoral falls. We are gathered here tonight to gain insight into the platforms of our mayoral candidates. May I introduce Earl Silo. Ronnie P. Silas. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, now before, before we start, I want to kick this debate off with a little poem. Uh, Mr. Silas, please, please, you can just sit down. You'll have plenty of time to talk. Okay, the rules of the debate are very simple. Each citizen of Split Hoof will have a chance to ask a question. The candidates will respond for one minute. Everything clear? Great. Our first question tonight, will be from Ms. Cassidy Davis. Ms. Davis. Earl, Ronnie, I think what we're all wondering and what we need to know is, as mayor of Split Hoof, what is your plan to deal with the tragic loss of jobs following the don't stand downwind rendering plants closing? A very, very good question there, Miss Cassidy. Very good question, excellent question. Well, you know, as mayor of this fine town, job creation is gonna be a numero uno priority for me, okay? I mean, a chicken in every pot, two cars in every garage, a job for every man. Now, you get to my poem. Uh oh, Mr. Salito, you know I'm one of your biggest fans and I love to hear your poetry, but how are you going to get all these chickens and pots and in cars and garages, and what's your plan? Sorry, Cassidy, Ronnie's time is up. Earl? Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I guess I just want to start off by saying I'm not waiting for any kind of a mayor position. I've actually taken it upon myself to uh, start looking for an opportunity to, to fill in that gaping smell, or I mean, hole that was left when the plant closed. Um, I've actually talked with a couple of businesses that are actually interested in relocating to our Split Hoof industrial site. I can just kick myself for missing that closing date for the, the filing date for the mayor. I'm so sad about that. You wanted to run for mayor? Ha, oh, bet your sweet patootie. But as luck would have it, I was a guest lecturer up there at the Legal Eagle convention and and I, miss, I just missed the deadline now. Well, you know, it might all be for the better. I understand that the 5th District has got a new opening for Circuit Judge. <gasps> yes, it you does. don't say. You don't say. Oh, I, I can just see oh, I can just see it now. I can just, I can see it. I can just taste it. 
All rise for the Honorable Judge Edward. Mm. Maybe King. Maybe Queen. <laughs> Uh, so, so you see, if if we approve a stop sign for your corner, we'd have to approve a stop sign on every Yahoo's corner throughout town, and and that just wouldn't be very cost effective, would it? But there have been nearly three dozen accidents on there since January. Earl? Excellent question, Mrs. Thompson. You know, I take public safety as seriously as anybody, and you know that intersection you're talking about. Why, that's just a barnacle on the side of a ship of any mayoral office. Let's think outside the box just a little bit. Maybe what I would propose would be to close off that street and redirect all the traffic around to an existing street that already has a stop sign on it. Very creative, Earl, very creative. Uh, our next question from the Lefsa ladies. Well, first of all, if you don't ask me, I'd like to say that both of our candidates look pretty handsome tonight. <laughs> but my question is, uh, so what are you you're both going to do about making Lefsa the official food of Spredhof and the county? Well, you know, I would be in favor of the possibility of maybe considering perhaps making less uh, Sweet Swine County's official food. And I propose that we could set up a task force and study a proposal. Ronnie? Well, 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 let me say, first of all, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Lefsa and particularly the Lefsa ladies. <laughs> well, if I am mayor, when I become mayor, <clears throat> I am going to unequivocally support a declaration making Lefsa the official food of Split Hoof. And, and I'm going to go to the county commissioners, work with them to have them declare it the official food of all of Sweet Swine County. Okay, how's that sound? You know, Earl is doing a really great job. He really has a knack for telling people what they want to hear. You know, I didn't think he had it in him when he came to me looking for contributions for campaign flyers and radio ads and that, I gotta admit, I had my doubts. You know, it wouldn't hurt to have an in at the mayor's office. After all, you and Mayor Hatfield never saw anything eye to eye. Well, you know, Minnie Mae, you just might have a really good point there. You owe me combat pay for today. Hey, it's not my fault Gretchen called in sick and the lettuce delivery showed up a day early. What? Well, I don't know how you expect me to wait on all the customers, run the till, and bust the tables. Maybe I should have became mayor. <laughs> what is so funny about that? You run for mayor? That'd be good. I think I hear the timer. My cake must be done. Our final question comes from Miss Perry Ann. As you know, the sweet swine sapsucker is on the endangered species list. And it can be only found adjacent to the land Cousin John owns on the complex. What are your plans to protect this rare and beautiful bird and prevent it from becoming extinct? Well, first of all, I must say that you look exceptionally lovely today, Miss Prairie Ann. Oh, well, thank you. <coughs> <Giddy> up. <coughs> right, well, <clears throat> I must say that the uh, sweet swine sapsucker is a creature that's near and dear to my heart. And uh, uh, when, not if, when I become mayor, uh, I am going to expand its territory, turn it into a national wildlife refuge so that the poor little critter, our favorite feathered friend, does not become encroached upon. Well, my esteemed colleague means well. The truth of the matter is that creating a wildlife refuge would actually close down the cluck and pluck chicken factory for who knows how long and create widespread unemployment, stopping thousands of jobs in Sweet Swine County. What I propose is that we round up those little Sweet Swine sap suckers and relocate them to an area that is suitable for their habitat so that they can remain and preserve them from extinction and in the meantime save thousands of jobs. Now, yeah, yeah. You, you would say that, yeah, because because your cousin John's lap boy and 
Linda. You the shut yacht. your mouth, Ronnie P. Silage. He is nobody's puppet. You can't talk to Ronnie that way. Quiet, everyone. Quiet, everyone. This concludes our mayoral debate for this evening. I would like to thank our candidates, Ronnie P. Silage and Earl Silage, for the presence here tonight. That's right. I would also like to thank our host for the evening, Chef Randy and, and Waitress Norma. And most of all, I wish both candidates luck, may the best man win, and don't forget to vote on Tuesday. Well, it looks like the lines have been clearly drawn. Will Ronnie be able to get the votes he needs to overtake Earl's lead in the polls? Will Elmer? be able to choose between his clients when election day arrives? And will the citizens of Split Hoof be looking for a write-in candidate for mayor? I guess we'll find out after the break. Get ready for a website like no other. A website where you will find stories done by reporters, tourists, and celebrities from Sweet Swine County. Yes, I said Sweet Swine County. With nothing happening in their county, they decided to do some stories about the businesses and points of interest located in their neighboring towns and counties. Take a unique look at life inside the small towns of the Midwest by visiting DestinationSmallTown.com. Get ready because our culinary expert and, dare we say, wine aficionado beyond belief, Betty Thompson is preparing some tantalizing dishes for us on her show, Cooking It Up With Betty. In the midst of cooking, our dear old Betty does join her What's Cooking reporters traveling throughout our story country. Now, on this station and the web. This program is made possible in part by Swine Tales Publications, the proud publisher of Sweet Swine County Maps and Plat Books, now publishing authors from throughout Sweet Swine County. Swine Tales Publication is now making plans for their next book tour and they may be held in these small towns with the release of One Duck, One Ventriloquist, and Autobiography by Lawyer Ed. Talented, driven, hungry for fortune and fame, the story of a man and his wooden duck against the world. The High Horse Herald says, this guy quacks me up. What a character, and the lawyer's funny too. The New Pork Periodical says, Best two dollars I ever spent on a book. Each of these towns and their businesses are being considered to hold a book signing because of the information found on the best source about small towns of the Midwest. To learn about these towns and their businesses, visit DestinationSmallTown.com. This program has been made possible by SweetSwineScoop.com the online magazine that keeps Sweet Swine County citizens informed on what's happening. For if it happens in Sweet Swine County, it's news to us. Welcome back to As the Corn Grows! Now, welcome back to another exciting episode of As the Corn Grows! Today, we join Cassidy as she announces KLUK TV's projected winner, in the hotly contested split hoof mayoral race. And it is not known if the heroic pig will survive the night. Wow, that was one brave little pig. He woke everyone in the burning house with his squealing and got them all to safety. Well, folks, I've just been handed the much anticipated results of the split hoof mayoral race between Ronnie P. Silage and Earl Silo. With 89% of the ballots tabulated, Cluck TV is projecting, what? This can't be right. Oh, uh, with 89% of the ballots tabulated, Cluck TV is projecting Clem Johnson as the new mayor of Split Hoof. It seems that citizens, unhappy with the platform of either of the declared candidates, launched a spirited write-in campaign on behalf of local businessman Clem Johnson. The numbers break down as follows. A landslide, 67 votes for Clem, two for Ronnie, and one for Earl. You heard it here first, folks. In an unprecedented landslide victory, Clem Johnson, owner of Clem's Feed Store, is the new mayor of Split Hoof. I've just been informed that we are going live to Ronnie P. Silage headquarters via satellite. Ronnie, are you there? The check is in the mail. Yes. And I'll bring the hay wagon and the bales back tomorrow morning. I'm a busy man. I gotta go. Ronnie, 
Ronnie. Well, Miss Cassidy, aren't you the vision of loveliness again? Why, thank you, Ronnie. I understand that you wish to make a statement regarding the election results. Oh, oh, well, indeed I do. And I want to thank KLUK TV uh, for letting me do this. And I want to thank my, first of all, my staff, my campaign staff, and most of all, my campaign director, Claudine. We worked our tails off on this campaign. Night and day we worked, and we were this close. This close! And then Clem Johnson comes in from left field, and he... We worked our... We worked nonstop for what? Nip, 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 zip! Ronnie, Mr. Silage, please, calm down. Oh, ungrateful yahoos, ungrateful yahoos. Well, split hoofians, you're not going to have Ronnie P. Silage to kick around anymore. Mr. Silage, you do understand that this is a live broadcast. Live? No, no, no one told me it was live. Well, it is, so if you don't have any more nice things to say... Oh, but I do. I think I've got the scoop of the century for you. <laughs> Scoop, huh? That's right, folks, and you might want to sit down for this one because after careful consideration and hours of soul searching, I've decided to throw my hat in the ring. Ronnie, the mayor race has already been decided. Oh, no, 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 not split hoof. No, 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 that's small, small, small potatoes. Ah, whatever split hoof has lost, the nation will gain. Oh, no, Ronnie, you're not saying what I think you're saying. Oh, yes, you bet your sweet patootie, you're looking at the candidate for the President of the United States with the Hasty Boar Party. Hasty Boar Party? Ah, oh, great show, as always, Nicole. Of course, what, can you, what else can you expect? We're so great. I mean, our fans know that. Girls, 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 you're never going to believe who won the election here right what now. What election are you for talking mayor. about? There was an election for I, mayor in... A split hook? A split hook. We need an election in such a small for mayor. place. For mayor. Ronnie P. Silage and Earl Silo. Who are they? Okay. Ran for mayor. Clem Johnson won as a write-in candidate. Who is he? Clem Johnson? I don't know who that is. How so. bad do you have to be? to lose to Clem Johnson. And who wrote him in? Clem Johnson? It seems oh like a bunch of people got together and wrote Clem Johnson in. Like, fine. Why? What was even the know problem? About it. You're not going to believe Okay, yes, fine. Go ahead. You're taking okay. so long. I have stuff to do. Take a deep breath. Just go. Okay. Spit it out, because we got stuff what? to do. Guess Ronnie P. Silage announced that he is running for President of the United States of America. <laughs> is and there a tiny county what? like that no, with a name? Hasty, the Hasty Boar is, Party is has endorsed him. It's big. It is like the biggest thing. Yes. He is running for President against of the Donald United Trump. States, States of America, America against Trump and Hillary for, for what? What party is backing him? The Hasty Boar Party. Oh it's we have Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, and who's this loser again? <laughs> Ronnie, Ronnie P. P. Siley. Can Donald, you? Uh, oh my Donald gosh. is gonna. Oh, uh, well, here, and, uh, over here we have the country bumpkin running this little hayseed, and he's gonna make America great. Can't you just really no? I think America's ready for someone. For what? For just a down home, common sense <laughs> approach. Common sense. Yes. Don't this you? This is the sa same guy who invented hot dish on a stick and thought it was going to take America by storm. Well, hot I don't know. dish you know, he must, on a stick. He must have something oh going for him because, you know, the they Hasty Boar endorsed yes. him and they just don't endorse anybody. Sweetheart, okay. who else besides you knows these people? Because let me tell you, what do you need we dresses know for? everybody. What do, need, what do you need dresses for? Because we have an awards We have an awards <laughs> party. You're not invited, phone. honey, hey. because he's not in Swiss Wine Cup. My phone, it might be Madrid. <laughs> Oh, oh, please. Uh, Hello? Uh, My name would call you. Oh. Prairie Ann? Madrid? Uh, Sweetheart, nobody uh, would call she's you. She's here? Day. Yes. Is it? Oh. Me? Really? Mm -hmm. Really? For me? Oh, gosh. Madrid? Just answer it. We don't oh care. God. Hello? Just answer it. I think it's a crank call. Yes, I don't know yes. how they got my number. Yes, I did. I did hear that oh. Ronnie made the announcement to run for president. Yes? And you read my book? Oh, my gosh. Yes. And you see my vision? Oh, you want to... 
Yeah, I'll talk to you. Oh, pretty what? young, please. Calm down. Just tell you us. look like you've seen a ghost. You crazy. are not going to believe what happened. Oh, you're squeezing the life out of my hand. Oh, oh, oh my, my gosh. Hand. The gullible guilt party just called me. They want me to run for president of the United States. They understand my vision and they want me to make America jealous of itself. Oh it is a prank, sweetheart. I mean, who would want that? you as a president? They read my book. Remember the one I wrote about us? And the about one I know how to be jealous why of you would write a book like that? No. They oh. want me to run yes. for president of the United States. Sweetheart, have you ever oh. looked at yourself? As their fringe candidate. Okay. Was this a scam? Because it really wasn't a number that I'm familiar no, with. No, no. Did they ask you for money? No, it was the guilty Did guilt party. Did they ask you for your social security no. number? No. Oh, would you two just be quiet for one second? Because the gullible guilt party wants me, Prairie Ann Smakovich, <laughs> to be their beacon of hope in these troubled times. What is this world coming to? How bad do the front-runner candidates have to be for America to look to Prairie Ann Smagovich for salvation? And will she pick Paris or Nicole to be her running mate? Find out next time on As the Corn Grows! Get ready, because now you can watch a full of fun daytime talk show that shares the latest and greatest news about the people, places, and events found all over our story country. The Women of Sweet Swine County, hosted by three sassy ladies that tell small town stories with big town attitude. Now, on this station and the web. This program is made possible in part by Swine Tales Publications, the proud publisher of Sweet Swine County Maps and Plat Books, now publishing authors from throughout Sweet Swine County. Swine Tales Publication is now making plans for their next book tour, and they may be held in these small towns with the release of Poems I Wrote and More Poems I Wrote by Sweet Swine County's own poet laureate, Ronnie P. Silage. After serving as Poet Laureate of Sweet Swine County for over 20 years, Ronnie was encouraged to put his poetic masterpiece in book form for all to cherish and enjoy. With a wealth of life experiences to draw upon, Ronnie P. is a veritable pit of poetic musings and life lessons learned. Each of these towns and their businesses are being considered to hold a book signing because of the information found on the best source about small towns of the Midwest. To learn about these towns and their businesses, visit DestinationSmallTown.com. Get ready, because now you can see a late-night talk show filmed in front of a discerning yet agreeable studio audience. Split hoof tonight! Cousin John and his incomparable sidekick, Earl Silo, interview a roster of guests who make appearances that you won't want to miss. Now on this station and the web. Who are these people and what are they doing? Well, they're talk show hosts, tourists, celebrities, and reporters from your neighboring county of Sweet Swine. Yes, I said Sweet Swine County, and they're sharing what they've learned about the businesses and points of interest in the small towns of the Midwest. Learn all that they learned on DestinationSmallTown.com. This program has been made possible by SweetSwineScoop.com the online magazine that keeps Sweet Swine County citizens informed on what's happening. For if it happens in Sweet Swine County, it's news to us. Get ready, because just when you thought you'd gotten the cockleburs out of your overalls, they're now on TV. That's right, this is one weed you won't want to pull. The Cockleburr Morning Show with hosts who deliver a mix of news, entertainment, and information about the communities throughout our story country. Now on this station and the web.